What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to install the Go Fast Bits DV Plus on the R56 Mini Cooper S with an N14 engine. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stick around because you're going to want to watch this whole video. First thing you're going to want to do is remove your intake hose. Mine's already off. Uh, mine's different than yours because I have a catch can. If you want to learn how to do it, if you don't know how to do it, uh, watch my last video on how to remove the intake manifold and I show you in detail how to take this off. Okay, next you're going to want to move your your uh, coolant reservoir out of the way. Mine doesn't have the nut here or the bolt. Uh, I was informed it's an 8 millimeter. Uh, so go ahead and take that off and then just pop it up and out of your way. You just need to move it enough to where you can get to your diverter valve, which is right here. Okay, your diverter valve is located right here, right underneath your vacuum pump. And there's three five millimeter Allen bolts holding it. There's one right here, there's one directly below it, and then there's one on the far side on the bottom right here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the vacuum line off of my my wastegate just to get it out of the way just so I have more room probably not necessary but I'm gonna do it anyway okay, I like to start the hardest one first this one is right above the the oil filter housing you can see my allen wrench is already on it so if you follow that back you can actually see my allen wrench right here but you can't really see the bolt but that's where it is I already broke it loose, so I'm just going to go ahead and back it out. And of course, the hose is in the way. Alright, not going to make you watch me take that one all the way out, but that one's right there. The next one, you can see where I'm putting the Allen wrench, is right there. You can actually see it. I already broke, again, I already broke it loose. I'm going to take that one out off camera too, but uh, then the next one is this one right here on the top, which you can see easily. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take those off. Using a 5mm on a ratchet would probably be easier than this handle that I'm using, but this is what I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this. Okay, once I get the bolt loose, I always like to use a magnet so I don't drop it. So I'm gonna stick that in there, if I can. There we go. Oh, that didn't work, let me come in from here. There we go, that's the bolt. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take the one out that's on the bottom. Again, I'm gonna use the magnet to take it all the way up. And there it is. Okay, before I take out the last one, I'm gonna go ahead and undo the clip. It's right here. Pull that out and push it down. And that's going to pop this uh, harness or this uh, plug off of it. I'm just going to go ahead and take this one out that's on the top. There's the last one. All right, at this point, you can just reach in there and grab your diverter valve and pull it off. 
and it came out in two pieces. Yours probably won't come out in two pieces like that. So mine definitely needed to be replaced, probably. <laughs> Step. You're supposed to pop this piece off of here because that's what you're replacing. You're also going to replace this spring. So you're going to go ahead and remove the spring. And if you were doing an alter spring, that's what you'd be replacing. Okay, so I'm going to take the spring that comes with the kit. I'm going to replace the spring that was already on my diverter valve. You can see the difference. Oops, you can see the difference. This one's way thicker. Then I'm going to take this piece that comes with the kit. And that replaces this piece. And that's going to go right over top of the spring like that. And then you're going to take this piece. You're going to take this big spring, and you're gonna place it inside there. There's like a little hole right there. You're gonna place that spring inside of it like that. And then you're gonna take this plunger, place it over top like that. But first, you're gonna put oil on this. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some, just regular engine oil on this. Okay, I always have some mobile one sitting around, so that's what this is. I'm just gonna put some on my finger. I'm just going to put it on the outside just to make the piston work better. I'm going to go ahead and place the piston inside of here. And that slides way in way easier than it did before and you can see it. Okay, now this next step, this, these holes these holes will only line up with this one way, so you can't put it on wrong. So you're just gonna slide this, to show you. This little hole right here is gonna go into the hole on the back of your of the DV Plus. And then you're gonna press in, and you're gonna make sure those holes are lined up. And it doesn't line up that way, so I gotta rotate it. And that way it lines up. You're gonna press it down, and it should lock into place. There we go, it locks into place. And that's your new diverter valve. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, install it. Okay, the DV Plus comes with new, new screws that are longer to make up for this thicker piece. So you're going to want to pull all of those out. And also, when you're doing that, you'll see that there's markings on the end of the screw. I can't see what they say, but if your screws do not have markings on them, you have a fake DV Plus. I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the area that the diverter valve just came out of. Just so I can get a clean install. Okay, my oil feed line for my turbo was in the way. So I went ahead and removed that. You probably won't have to unless you have an aftermarket like me. But remember, this part faces down when you put it on. I'm just gonna get one bolt started by hand. That way 
I can let go. Now to get the one above the oil filter housing, I'm going to do my trick that I like to use. Stick the bolt on the end of this pen magnet and just get it hand started. If I can get it tight enough to where I can pull the pen magnet off, then I know that I won't drop the bolt. Of course, I need my flashlight so I can see where it goes. There we go. I'm just going to wiggle the diverter valve back and forth until I can feel it slide into the hole where it goes. And then I'm going to hand tighten it. Okay, so I had to do a little bit of work here to get this on that I wasn't expecting. I didn't end up, let's show you, putting that one in first like I was showing you. I ended up, the first one you want to put in, first screw, is going to be the one right by the wastegate right here. Because if you don't put that one in first, you just can't get your diverter valve in because it hits your wastegate. So get that one started, then get that one in, and then make sure you get, once you get both of those tight, the other one's already obviously going to be lined up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this top one a little bit tight. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one that's all the way down there by the wastegate. Pretty much all the way tight. Make sure it's not cross-threading. You want to make sure that's going in good. That's why you want to get that one started first. All right, I'm going to get the last one in. Using this trick, I'm going to try to get this one started. I'm just going to reach in there with my finger, feel where the hole is, and slide the, the bolt in. Okay, I had to move the camera for a second just so I could I could see where the hole was. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten it. Okay, I couldn't find any torque specs for these. I looked in the Bentley manual. There's none in the directions. So uh, everybody said online just to tighten these, so I'm just going to snug them up. You're tightening into aluminum, so don't, don't over tighten them because you don't want to strip them. Got that bottom one pretty tight. I'm gonna check the one by the wastegate. That one's tight. And the top one. That one's tight. All right. So now I'm gonna plug in my um, the plug that goes to. If I can find it. There it goes. The plug that goes to the diverter valve. Plug that in. And then plug in my vacuum line to my wastegate. Alright. All right. Now you're going to want to put your coolant reservoir back on. Unzip tie. Let me unzip tie it real quick. Here's my trusty Kershaw. place. 
Oh. Now remember, yours is going to have the 8 millimeter bolt right there, or nut. Um, you're going to want to put your air intake on. Mine's going to be different than yours. And i got to hook my oil line back up. Alright, so the rest of this project, mine's going to be different than yours. So, you know, put your, your intake tube back on, and uh, you should be done. So, if you like this video, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next video.